Hey everyone, I'm Jennifer, and this is the new page editor in CMS Hub. It's currently in beta, and right away, the first thing that you're going to notice is that the tabs across the bottom are gone, and the primary header and secondary header have really been cleaned up to make it easier to find what you're looking for. So let's jump in to the file menu. This is one of the things that I really love because you can now create a new page or language variant directly from the page you're working on. You don't have to go in and out of the page editor. You can also clone the page you're doing and start a new version or delete it if you want to get rid of it. Um, this is where you're going to find page settings and your um, AV and adaptive testing. Now, you can also get to page settings from the secondary header. So this second touch point makes it quick and easy to get in and out of settings. And they've been organized into four distinct categories to make it easier to access the setting you need. From the secondary header, this is where you're going to access your multi-language variants. And if you had A-B testing um, or tests running, then you would also see a drop down here. Now, front and center, big change. We now have the edit for mobile directly in the secondary header. This makes it so much more apparent that it is an option. Um, it's typically in the content sidebar. So pulling it out makes it a lot more um, accessible and easy to use. You don't have to switch tabs constantly to access that setting. So you still have access to your contents. If you need to modify your section settings, um, you can still do all of that from the sidebar and you can control it for desktop and mobile like you can now. But when you want to add new content to the page, you don't have to find the plus icon anymore um, if you want to add a section or a layout. Now, everything that you can add to the page is in the sidebar. So we've got layouts. We have sections. There's your saved sections, your theme sections, and your modules. So all of this is in one place and you can access it quickly and easily and drag and drop directly from the sidebar onto the page. Okay, so what else is in the sidebar? We also have your optimize. So this is no longer in a tab. It's going to be um, over here. You can associate it with your topics still. This is also the home for your testing. So you can access testing through the file menu and through the test sidebar. Um, the other cool thing is that now you can access your navigator. So if you want to go over to landing pages, blogs, blog listing pages, you can access anything that you need to from the navigator, but this makes it quick. If there's a page that you want to pull up for reference, um, you can open that in a new tab very quickly. Now, another feature that's been kind of tucked away is um, the ability to see your previous page versions and revert or restore a previous version. So typically that's under auto saved or saved if you have saved the page and you have to click open version history. Now, if you go to view, you're gonna be able to access the version history directly. Okay, now you're probably wondering, hey, the tabs on the left sidebar are gone. How do I get to my theme settings? That's gonna be in the edit menu. So you have your undo, your redo, and your theme settings. You also have undo and redo in the secondary header, and that's gonna be much quicker, in my opinion, than trying to go to the menu. Um, but if you're looking for theme settings, that's in the edit menu. Um, you can access the help menu if you wanna go to the knowledge base and look something up. And then of course, um, one of the most loved features is the ability to comment and work with your team. So. If you need to add comments, that capability still exists. Bye-bye.